Why? Why Last of Us Part 2? Why not just Last of Us 2? I mean, we have played enough games in the past that we know that when a next game is coming from the franchise, it has to be a sequel. Since we already know that Last of Us already had a prequel with the DLC expansion, this is definitely a sequel. The first game of Last of Us was extremely insane with a beautiful story where Joel was a selfish dad. Don't hate on this, he was selfish and you know it. Now Last of Us Part 2 continues the story of Joel and Ellie. But why? I mean I already liked the way the game ended. Spoilers ahead that Ellie does not know that Joel actually lied to her. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you said about the fireflies is true. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! So of course the game has much higher expectations. But does it? We all could just have a happy but weird ending of Last of Us and then we could have moved on with our life but no, now we have a sequel and now we have to worry about our beloved characters. You think I'd let you do this on your own? And some people even know what happened to our beloved characters. Even the Troy Baker has said it doesn't matter and don't listen to the spoilers but play the game. But will people actually play the game? Really? Don't worry Troy Baker, I'm gonna definitely play this game because I love Naughty Dog. I mean, I love Last of Us. Not so sure about Naughty Dog though. Ellie now is a 19 year old and Joel is just old. I mean, I'm pretty much sure that he won't be able to run much faster. I hope he doesn't end up in a wheelchair. What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? Now, the story is set different because Joel and Ellie are having social distancing. But why? Why social distancing of all things? Are they mocking us? Did Ellie came to know that Joel actually lied to her? Did Ellie does not like the way Joel looks right now? Did Ellie found someone to make love more than Joel? Oh, okay, that turned out different. With the trailers, we have seen that there's so less moments of Ellie and Joel until the last trailer came out. On the other hand, Ellie is having more relationships. But why? I thought she was afraid to do that towards the end of Last of Us. Her name was Riley and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess and then Sam. Because of her, all those people died and whoever cares either dies or leaves her? Everyone fucking except for you! Now she has a girlfriend and she's not worried that she will get infected? Wow, Ellie. Wow, that is fantastic. You are true to your word. Apparently, the girlfriend name is Dina and she was already a girlfriend to this character named Jesse, who she now hates somehow. Jesse. But why? This guy doesn't look that bad. He even gave a smile and said hi to you. I mean, I understand. Nobody looks better than Ellie herself. I will definitely marry you, Ellie. Or go on a date. Uh, be just friends. The game has changed so much visually. The characters look so good. The skin looks so smooth that you get ashamed of your own skin when you look yourself in the mirror. Ellie looks so different and the same can be said for Joel. And it's good because we can see that they have aged over these years. As well as their environment has also aged because now it looks even more darker and horrible. They literally just went DC on this one. But why do they have to change it into a dark mode? I mean, even though they know that DC movies are not working, right? Apparently, they wanted to feel the anger that Ellie has and double the emotional so that you cry all day long after the game ends and don't know how to live life anymore. That's just it. They want us to suffer. We also see Ellie being super angry and saying, I'm gonna find and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. Why is she so angry? Did she found out that Joel actually lied? Did she found out that her girlfriend is dead? Or did she found out that the girlfriend finally cheated on her? Or maybe her mom was alive but she is not her child? Good god, even Joel was not that brutal. Got time for this. Where? Maybe, maybe not always. Apparently she's taking revenge on someone. Who that someone is, we don't know. Because all we see is blood and she's standing in the red room. And also a lot of... Looks like we get to go to new places such as Seattle and uh, yeah, that's all we know. Not only that, enemies are more intelligent now. Apparently they're much more smarter in finding us. Which means that they were stupid as fuck all those years back. And now they also have dogs. It took them this long time to find a dog. Everybody knows that dog is the best way to find someone who you lost or just find someone. Man, this post-apocalyptic world has definitely changed society. To be honest, it's just gonna be more tough now that dogs are around. Not because we have to be more stealthy, but because we have to kill those dogs. Damn it, Neil! What the hell are you doing? We also see this mysterious woman we don't know about who is being captured by someone we also don't know and then that woman is also rescued by someone we also don't know. What is this thriller again? 
Some say that this woman is Ellie's mom and we go into her flashback. Why is she Ellie's mom? Because she's pregnant. Apparently all women in this world who's pregnant is Ellie's mom now. So does that mean that Ellie's mom is alive? And if she is not alive, and if this is a flashback, then who is talking about this flashback? We also have this cult who believe in saints and blah blah blah, you know those people who believe in God way too much. Come to Supernatural and you will understand what a God is. People build churches for you and fight wars in your name and you did nothing. All you need is Sam and Dean Winchester and you are solid. Lots of issues between each other, lots of anger, lots of beautiful moments and lots of hate. Yeah, the last one is the most biggest one yet. But Last of Us 2 or Part 2 or the next chapter that got leaked is still the most anticipated game of this very year. And no matter the so-called spoiler has been leaked, I will still play this game. Why? Because I just want Joel and Ellie to hug it out and just fuck the world. And I also just want to play a video game. Last of Us 2 will be coming out on PS4 next month on July 19th. So get ready to cry a lot, to be angry and to be satisfied after you play the game. I am getting this game if I have enough money left and you should too. You think I'm forcing you? Of course I am.